Where did you take her? Somewhere exotic? Um, Sainsbury's. <laughs> Uh, Bianca Jagger goes there, doesn't she? I think the best thing I can do, dear, if, is to go through the list with you. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. So what was she like? I mean, what sort of girl? A French bread. Oh! <laughs> Bloomers too large. <laughs> well, kept slipping down, you mean? Oh, well, if you will go ice skating, you will keep slipping down, won't you? Yeah. And rolls for 20p. She doesn't. <laughs> What did you say her name was? Hovis. <laughs> I think I know her. Isn't, isn't, isn't she pregnant at the moment, though? No, no, no current bands, dear. <laughs> no, the, no, no, they'd run out. Um, a tin of something for the cat. This all sounds very fishy to me, old boy. <laughs> very fishy indeed. Did you say her parents were in oil? Yes, the pilchards. <laughs> Oh, she sounds a right little raver. I don't know how she had the energy. Uh, she said the milkman hadn't been round yet. <laughs> well, that would explain it, of course. Yeah. What did you do? I had to get sterilised. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> to be on the safe side, I'll put them in the fridge when I get back. <laughs> well, rather you than me, old chap. <laughs> Now, uh, where was I? Um... So, she took you home and gave you a nightcap, did she? I yes, say. Yes, uh -huh. dear. What sort? What? Yes. Well, that sounds a bit of a puffy drink, old chap. Was well, all she had, fairy liquid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. She had the bitter lemon and you had something stronger. Yes, three tins of curry powder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just to keep you going, eh? <laughs> You lucky devil, I wish I'd been there. What sort of perfume was she wearing? Something, something really exotic? Uh, salt and vinegar. <laughs> and smoky bacon. <laughs> Making a pig of herself, was she? Oh, sorry, that was a mistake, dear. She was what? Wearing a cross-your-heart bra? I thought it said Oxo. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> So you naturally took the opportunity of having a quick... Uh... Butchers, yes, dear, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I didn't forget the steaks. You saw her do what to the bra? Fill it. <laughs> With two portions of sirloin. <laughs> yes, I did make sure they were tender, dear, yes. <laughs> so I see you had her sitting there, nicely on the boil. Then what did you do? I went across the road for some apples. <laughs> That's all you need, isn't it? I mean, that is all you need. A dog leaping up into your lap. Yes, the crunchy sort. <laughs> With the yellow skin, you know. Uh, golden retriever. Golden delicious. <laughs> I bet he bites people, doesn't he? And Coxie's Pippins. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. What a terrible thing to happen. So, so what exactly did you say? Uh, my three minutes is up. I'll have to go, dear. <laughs> That's about all you could say, I suppose. Yes, dear. <laughs> Listen, you haven't told me yet, Simon, what this girl does for a living. What? She what? She works at Sainsbury's. I forgot your champagne water, darling. Hey, that's for us, dear, later. I say, Simon, is this girl about six foot tall, blonde, big blue eyes and other things to match? Uh, look, dear, I'm going to be late. Um, I've got a fair bit to see to. <laughs> <laughs> I should forget it all, Simon. I'm sorry, old sport, you've been short-changed. <laughs> My little basket. <laughs> It just wouldn't have been the same if they'd been texting each other, I mean, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. A text message is awful, isn't it? Oh, yes. It would be really difficult to understand. <laughs> and it would sound terribly, terribly stupid. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You, you sound like Noel Coward, you know. <laughs>